Hello, worship vocalist tribe. Hope you all are doing well. This was the most requested song tutorial this past month. So here it is, Holy Water by We The Kingdom. Incredible, incredible song. There's some songs that you just wanna sit and listen and be quiet and other songs that you have to just belt out along with it. This is definitely one of those songs. But as one of my subscribers recently said, to me, I feel like I sound so good when I sing along with recording. And then when I sing it myself, my voice falls apart. How many of you have had that feeling? Definitely me too. In fact, with this exact song, I'm just belting it out along with the recording. Feels great. And then I try singing it a cappella, and I'm like, oh, this is a lot more challenging than I thought. So uh, today in this tutorial, I just want to give you some tips and techniques that you can try out to make this song a little less challenging and a little more awesome sounding. I'm going to demonstrate this in the original key of D, but by all means, put it in a key that's right for your voice. I think for a lot of females and definitely if you're having a male sing the first verse, C sharp or C is going to work a lot better for you. Don't feel badly at all about having to lower the key. It's always better to sing uh, in a place that feels and sounds the best for your voice. All right, verse one, this is gonna apply both to girls and guys, whoever's singing here at the start of the song. Make sure you're not just singing this in head voice. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again, I need you. Bringing down head voice that low in our range is not an efficient use of resonance. It gets weak and it doesn't sound contemporary. It tends to sound more classical, especially if you've come from a classical background, you'll have to watch out for that and be aware of it in your own voice, the tendency to pull down, bring down your head voice low. But for some of you, that's not an issue. You don't tend to use head voice much at all. You're the opposite. You have a tendency to push up on your chest voice. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again, I need you. Please don't sing it that way. You're going to wear out your vocal cords and potentially cause damage to your voice. We've got to lift that resonance out of the mouth and mix our mouth resonance, our chest voice, with pharyngeal resonance. Yes, nasality to take the weight off the throat and brighten up the tone. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again. I need you. Oh, I need you. Walking down these desert roads, hear the nasality. Water for my thirsty soul, I need you. Oh, I need you. Hear how that's very different from. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again, I need you. And very different from. God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again, I need you. It's a mix, a blend of resonance. And as usual, in order to train our voice to find that mix of resonance, we're going to use an exercise to create a pathway to the tone we want. No, 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 no. God, I'm on my knees again. No, 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 no. God, I'm begging, please again, I need you. No, 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 oh, I need you. No, 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 no. Walking down these desert roads. No, 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 no. Water for my thirsty soul, I need you. Na, 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 oh, I need you. Exercise to lyric, exercise to lyric. That's the way we retrain the muscle memory in our voice, phrase by phrase, song by song, day by day, month by month. It takes time to rebuild our habits, but it can be done and it should be done. It's something that we should all be doing as worship leaders is aiming to better our voices, better our skills. For girls especially, that verse sits kind of in your mid-range, so it's very tempting to just push up on your chest voice. But if you do, you're not setting yourself up for success in the chorus when the melody jumps 
higher, you're just setting yourself up to have to push there as well. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet. Or your voice will be so tired from pushing up in the verse that it'll just flip into head voice when you get to the chorus. Oh, I need you. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey. Which ends up sounding weaker and not nearly as contemporary. But by singing the verse in a mix, we set the chorus up for success because the vocal cords are already in the coordination that they need to be in and the resonance is already placed where we need it. So we can just continue on up higher in our range singing in that mix. Waterfall, my thirsty soul, I need you. Oh, I need you. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Don't be afraid of nasality in your voice in this song. We need it. We need lots of it. Most of the song sits right on and above the female transition spot. And so if we don't have this pharyngeal nasal resonance in play, our voice is going to default to one of those two places that I just demonstrated a minute ago, either too chest heavy of a sound. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet. Or too light and classical of a head voice sound. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey. So let's use that nasally na again as a pathfinder exercise. We're looking for somewhere in the middle of those two extremes and that na will help us get there. Na 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 na, your forgiveness. Na 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 na, your forgiveness. The reason why the na works so well is because there's so much pharyngeal resonance in the mix and because the mouth shape stays super consistent. So what we want to do is aim to bring as much of that into the lyric as possible. You'll see on the screen here how I recommend pronouncing these lyrics to get the most efficiency out of your voice, keep the mouth narrow, minimize the R's because they tend to close up the mouth too much and cause tension, minimize the V here as well. We don't need that pronounced very much. And I find it works well for this particular line to add a bit of an H before the na and the your. Na, 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 your forgiveness. Na, 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 your forgiveness. I don't usually recommend using H's very much because it can start sounding kind of funny when it's overused. But in this particular case, I find it helps to uh, kind of counteract the tendency to push up. No, 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 your forgiveness. The H just kind of helps us breathe into it and feel like we're coming into it from the top rather than from the bottom. No, 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 your forgiveness. Next line, this one is more challenging for most singers. A couple important things here. One is to de-emphasize those lower notes in the phrase. If you sing them with too much volume and power, then you're probably going to end up pushing up to the higher notes. Is like sweet, sweet, is like sweet, sweet. But if you start off lighter, almost like you're just tiptoeing on those notes, it helps transition to those higher notes a lot more easily. Is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Is like, is like, is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. The tricky thing about the word sweet is that it's an E vowel and most singers tend to go really small and wide with their mouth on E's, which causes tension and the voice wants to flip into head voice because the mouth is so small. So I want you to think narrow with your mouth, slightly dropped jaw and aim for somewhere between sway and sway. You'll have to experiment with it to see what feels and sounds right for your voice. But notice how if I go small and wide. It's like sweet, sweet honey. It sounds small and thin. It feels tense, not what we want, but now I'm going to sing it first on a wah, and then I'm going to bring that more open resonance into the word. Wah, wah, wah. Sweet, sweet honey. Sweet, sweet honey. So much different, right? Another little trick you can try is to move your arm down as you move to the high note. It's like sweet, sweet. It's like sweet, sweet honey. I have another video where I go in depth about that, but 
It's just a little way of tricking our brain into thinking it's lower, not higher, so that it's not freaking out about the high note. It's like, sweet, sweet honey. At the end of the day, be okay with that top note sounding a bit lighter. It's a high C, so based on where it sits in the female range, it needs to take on more head resonance, less chest resonance. Get it out of your head that every note in your range is gonna sound exactly the same. That's just not possible. And when we try to hit a high C or C sharp in the same way as we hit a G or an A note, that's where we're gonna run into major vocal issues and injury down the road, let alone just being pitchy all the time because we're gonna be pushing up way too much weight that the voice is not designed to have up there. The more you train your voice to sing in a mix, the more you'll be able to feel and come to appreciate this slight tilt in the resonance, a shift in your tone that gets gradually lighter as we go higher and deeper as we go lower. It's a beautiful thing. You can still have power and lots of presence as you go higher, but just don't get caught up in needing the tone to sound exactly the same. What we're looking for is similar and seamless, not the exact same. Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. Notice how the tone gets lighter, but it's still very connected to my lower notes. It's like sweet, sweet honey on my lips. When you get to my lips, I want you to open up on the my, so it's more like ma lips, not my lips. Ma, 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 ma lips. Sweet, sweet honey on my lips. And let's use that wah exercise for the next line too. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Not the sound of a symphony to my ears. Again, we're just tiptoeing on like that. We're dropping the jaw bit for sound. Uh, lots of pharyngeal resonance all the way through. Open up on my ears. Not like the sound. We want like the, like the, like the sound of a symphony to my ears. And then for the final line, let's go back to the not exercise. Na, 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 like holy water. Keep the mouth narrow as you go up on holy. Again, this is an E vowel, so make sure you don't close up your mouth too much. Keep it more open. Na, na, holy, holy water. This word water, we kind of want it to sound like flowing water, so just kind of let your voice drift there. Water, 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 holy water. Same with on my, on my, on my. We don't want it to be clunky. On my skin, on my skin, so just let it go. On my, on my water, on my skin. All right, the bridge, same thing here as in the verse. It starts off a bit lower, but don't be tempted to sing it in too heavy of a chest voice tone. Keep it in your mix because you're gonna need that pharyngeal resonance like three lines into this bridge. And you'll be sorry if you didn't start in a mix and set those higher notes up for success. So uh, just use whichever of those whams or nuz feels better for your voice, whichever one helps you get into your mix the best and just replace the lyrics. Na, 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 na. I don't wanna abuse your grace. Na, 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 na. God, I need it every day. Na, 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 na. It's the only thing that ever really makes me wanna change. This bridge is so fun, so just feel that groove and own it. The trickiest part here is it's the only because the melody moves up over our transition spot, so Keep the resonance nasally, narrow your mouth, and I want you to try using a Y to get into the word only, so it's the only, the only. Instead of, it's the only, it's the only, it's the only thing that, it's the only thing that. I also find putting a bit of edge on the word ever helps us stay in our mix and just 
adds a little bit of cool stylistic texture there. It's the only thing that ever really makes me want to change. Ever, ever. It's the only thing that ever really makes me want to change. Now the singer in We the Kingdom does a lot of fancy runs and different melody lines as the song goes on. I think for the most part, if you're leading your congregation with this song, I would just stick with the main melody line. But if you're doing it more as a special performance song and you can pull off those alternate melodies, then by all means, go for it. Keep it in your mix. Drop your jaw, narrow your mouth, do all the things and just go for it. Own it. It's the only thing that ever really makes me want to change. I probably wouldn't even do that for a special performance number, but if you can do it, go for it. All right. Hopefully that gives you some good things to try out in your voice. If you haven't yet been through my Discover Your Voice course, please, I strongly encourage you to not just see these uh, tutorials as a magic pill or a shortcut to your voice doing what you want it to do. Yes, some of these techniques can get pretty instant results in a specific line of a specific song for sure, but what you really need to be doing is building the foundations of your voice to be strong, building your mix so that these things are instinctive, so that your voice is connected all throughout your range. Maybe you've gone through Discover Your Voice, but you stopped there. Master Your Voice is the next step for you. 30 lessons, tons of vocal workouts that I've designed for you to be able to master these concepts. Just take it at your own pace. I go through so many topics that are so important to the health and strength of your voice and to your competency and confidence as a worship leader. So I encourage you to get started as soon as you can. Don't wait. Make sure to post your questions and comments below. Let me know how these exercises go for you. Let me know what other songs you'd like to see a tutorial for. And until next time, love you guys. Be blessed.